Um, we're gonna start in child's pose. So either knees apart, so you can open up those hips or knees together so you can round that back. And I want you to extend your arms out in front of you, sitting your hips back towards your heels, letting your third eye rest on the mat. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> yes, I got my hair done today. That also made me very grounded. Um, and with your body on the mat, with your third eye on the mat and your hips towards your heels, I want you to take a deep breath in. So you feel your lungs expanding onto your thighs. And as you exhale, I want you to try and release every bit of air in your lungs as you can. So that you, there's a big feeling of letting go. So do that again. Take a big breath in, fill your lungs, and exhale, release it. And so maybe not as big this time, but more of a natural breath. I, I want you to think about that exhale. And each exhale, I want you to release and let go. So your jaw, your head, your neck, your hips. And if child's pose is something that is not comfortable for you, don't, um, don't hesitate to come to a seated position. And that's okay as well. But keep your eyes closed and keep your focus on your exhale. So that you notice your breathing and you begin to tune into your body. And I want you to tune in specifically to anything that's touching the earth. If you're in child's pose, it's the tops of your feet or it's your shins, your knees, it's your arms, it's your third eye. If you're seated, it's your, sip, your, se your seat, your legs. And each exhale, I want you to melt into those places that are on the earth. And just keep releasing, keep letting go, keep melting down into the earth. Hi, Andrea. And then I want you to be think of yourself melting into the actual earth and maybe so much so that you feel more like you're connecting to the core of the earth that can be really deep for some of you and that can be something that some of you really need to hear and that the warmth of the core of the earth is actually coming right back into you so that exchange of energy of you releasing down into the earth but also the earth feeding you and then take one more deep breath in, deep breath out. And everyone come to seated. I'm still here, I'm just get my playlist going. So go ahead and hit play on your playlist. And in a seated position, I want you just to cross your ankles. So Sukhasana. And if you need to sit on a block, go ahead and do that. And then feel your hips letting go. Your eyes can remain closed. Have that same focus on your exhale. And I want you to take your left hand next to your right uh, left hip and reach your right arm up to the sky. And just stretch the right side of your body. Feel the heaviness of that right hip. And with the heaviness of all of these poses that we're doing today, anything that's grounded, I want you to move away from that as well. So that energy of the groundedness, you can feel that push and that pull. And then reach that right arm up to the sky, place that right hand next to the right hip and lift the left arm up to the sky and stretch the left side of the body. Keep the left hip rooting down again. Then exhale, feel it heavy in that left side. And then the inhale, can you feel the left side lengthening and opening? We're gonna have a little fun here. We're gonna do the first side again. So take the right arm up and over. And then I want you to start to fold over your left leg and then come towards the center and then over towards your right leg and lift the left arm up. And then stretch over to the left with the left arm and then stretch it back over to the right. So you're finding some cute little circles here. So you're moving almost dance-like through the sides of the body, through a fold, through a little bit of a twist. And it's great that you're not in a classroom so that you can be as fluid and as free as you want to be, as you feel you need right now. 
and maybe even follow your breath. So as you exhale, you're coming down and forward. And as you inhale, you're reaching up and opening. And as you exhale, you're coming down and forward. And as you're inhaling, you're opening. And then as much as you're feeling fluid this way, feel heavy through the hips so that those things are grounded that's on the earth so that you can feel free, just like water around a rock, right? It just moves around it. One more time through each side. I know that feels really awkward for some of you and that's okay. And then come all the way back to center. And then just stay here a moment. Feel the energy moving through your body. Maybe even close your eyes to connect with that. And then let that settle. See if you can't settle that with your breath and your mind and the heaviness of the earth connecting to your body. And then come forward to hands and knees. Right, and just move through a couple of cat cows, breathing in, looking up and arching. Breathing out, rounding. Two more times, breathing in. And breathing out. Last time, arch the back and round the back. Coming to a neutral spine or a flat, flat back or a fat back, reach that right leg straight out from your right hip so it's in line with the right hip. And I just want you to sit back towards your left heel. So I have my left toes curled under and I'm sitting back towards that left heel. I'm pushing into my hand. So it looks like a child's pose from one side, but from the other side, my right leg is straight out. So you're going to feel this through the right inner thigh, through the right hip, and then let the heaviness of your body start to really stretch through the right side. Come on back up, shoulders over wrists. I want you to lift the right leg up and then bring it behind you and cross it behind the left leg. So you lift up to the right side of the hip, tap it down and then lift it back up and cross it behind the left leg. So you got a little half moon action going on. Tap to the right outside your hip. I'll show you from the front and back behind you crossing to the left. So we're getting some hip mobility here. Feel everything that's on the earth still, the hands, the left knee, helping to stabilize you as you move that right hip around. Good, one more time each direction. Good, and take that right leg out to the side again and bring your hands to your hips. Just take that left hand all the way to the mat and that right arm up and over. So a little gate pose here. And then just do the other side, right hand down the right leg and left arm up and over. Come on back, both arms up to the sky. Bring that right knee back and come back to hands and knees. We're just gonna go to the left side. So reach that left leg out to the side. And then curl the right toes under and pushing your hands down onto the mat, sit your hips back towards your right heel. You should feel this all along the back of the left hip, a little bit of that left inner thigh, a lot of the groin. You can let that head relax right down onto the mat. And then come on up, shoulders over wrists. Lift the left leg up and back behind you and cross it behind the right. So you're finding those little half circles. Tap it out to the left and reach around to the right. Two more times out to the left and back behind you to the right. Last one, inhale it up. Exhale to the back. Good. Reach that left leg out to the side again, right in line with the hip, and then come all the way up onto that shin. Take the right hand down onto the mat, the left arm up and over, just stretch the left side of the body. Take a big breath in, and then exhale, left arm up and right arm over. Good. Come on back to center, hands and knees. We're going to curl the toes under and find a downward facing dog. So lifting the hips up, maybe the knees are bad, press the thigh bones back, the heels back and down and push your hands into the mat. As you push your hands into the mat, can you lift your armpits away a little bit and let that head rest in between those arms, the heart melt in between those arms and feel those feet on the earth, reaching those heels back and down. Staying here, two more breaths. And go ahead, lift the right leg up to the air, in the air. Pull the right knee in towards your right shoulder and step the right foot outside of the right hand. So you're in a little gecko pose here. Sink those hips down and open the chest up. Take a big breath in. So the right foot's outside of the right hand. Now pushing onto everything that's on the mat, 
I want you to lift those hips up and straighten the right leg. Good, and then go ahead and sink down, bend the right knee, pull the shoulders back, take a big breath in. As you exhale, push back, straighten the right leg. Good, bend the right knee. Step the left foot outside of the left hand to Malasana. Hands come to heart center. So super grounded pose. Opening up the hips. Feet are heavy. Your heart's lifting away from those heavy feet and seat. Now, reach the arms out in front of you. Push down in through the feet. Push down into the earth, and I want you to come all the way to standing. And then you're gonna go right back down. So we're using our connection to the earth to stand up. So really feel the foundation of your feet and then come all the way up to standing. Good, we're gonna go back down and do it one more time. Sink the hips down. Good, so feel the four corners of your feet. Keep your toes light and come all the way to standing. Heel toe those feet together. So what do I mean by the four corners of the feet? I mean the big toe mound. Let me come up close. The big toe mound, boop, the pinky toe mound, the inner and outer heel. So think of them as wheels of a car. And they wanna point forward. If your wheels go off, you're gonna go that direction. So we wanna stay square to the front. So pressing down the inner heel, outer heel, big toe mound, and pinky toe mound. When you lift through the arch. So you have that groundedness of the four corners. The toes are super light. Now open up your palms towards the front of the room. Be heavy through those feet. Take a big breath in, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold all the way down, forward fold. Lift up halfway and flatten your back. Good, plant the hands down and step back to the top of a plank or, or, plank or top of a push-up. Lower your knees, your belly, and your chest. So you're on your bellies. Hands are next to the shoulders. I want you to squeeze those elbows in, Roll the shoulders to the back of the body and open up the front of your body. Take a big breath in. So cobra pose. Exhale. Now, I want you to do cobra pose again, but I first want you to think about everything that's on the earth. Your hands, your thighs, the tops of your feet. Really root down into that. Now lift your belly away, squeeze the shoulder blades away, and see if you can't feel a little different feeling by grounding down into the earth to open up the chest a little bit more high key and lower all the way down. Push up to hands and knees, curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Slow your breath. All right, we're gonna lift the left leg to the sky. Step the left foot outside of the left hand in that gecko pose again. So it's wide to the side. Now melt those hips and open the heart a bit. So you should be feeling this through the hip. Good, now push into your hands and everything else that's on the earth, I want you to lift the hips up and straighten the left leg. Bend the knee, bring the heart forward, sink the hips, roll the shoulders back. Straighten the left leg, pull the hips back. Good, bend the left knee, now listen up. You're gonna step the right foot outside of the right hand. Hands come to heart center. So if your heels are up a bit, that's okay. The feet together a little closer make it more challenging to get the heels down, so maybe walk the feet out a little bit more. I do want you to try and feel those heels down, so the other thing you can do is fold up your mat a few times, because that's going to help you feel the balance of standing all the way up without any particular help of a couch or a chair. So bring the hands, reach them out in front of you, engage the core, press down through the four corners of the feet, keep the toes light, and from your inner arches of your feet, through the inner thighs, your butt lift all the way up. And of course, we're going right back down. We're gonna do it two more times. Come all the way up and all the way down. Last time, all the way up, we're gonna stay here, walk the feet back together, inhale the arms up to the sky, and exhale, forward fold. You're gonna lift up halfway, breathe in, plant the hands, step back to plank pose. Now, you're in plank pose. You're pushing your hands down. You're pushing the big toe mounds down. Now you're pulling them towards one another so you get a little lift of the underside of the body. So pull the hands towards the feet, the feet towards the hands. Now come onto your tippy toe, so come forward. Shoulders come forward right over those fingertips so your elbows are gonna to start to bend and slowly keep pressing down onto the earth 
start to bend your elbows so you lower from high plank to low plank to your bellies. Whew. Breathe. A little Stevie Wonder action. All right, curl your shoulders back, pushing down into the earth. Curl your shoulders back, breathe in for Cobra, and find your way back to downward facing dog. You good? Give me a thumbs up if you're good. We're gonna move it a little bit because that's what this class is about, flow. All right, bend your knees, look to the front of your mat, and step or float to the front of your mat. Good, so you're at the front of your mat. I want you to bring your feet a little under hips, bend your knees, chair pose. Good, keep your hips back, your toes light, thank you for the thumbs up. Heels are heavy. So same feeling that you had in Malasana, this time it's in chair pose. So keep the core nice and strong. Feet are heavy and grounded. Inhale to stand. Exhale to fold. Lift halfway up, breathe in. Step back to plank pose and lower down as you breathe out. All this is the same. Curl your shoulders back into cobra, breathe in. And step back to downward facing dog, breathe out. So you can always skip that vinyasa part and go right back to down dog or child's pose. It's totally up to you. Lift your right leg to the sky. So with your right leg to the sky, I want you to push down into your hands and your left foot a little bit more. From that pushing down, can you lift the right leg up a little bit more without opening the hips? So try to keep that right hip square. But push down into the earth so you can feel more stable to lift that right leg up. Pull the right knee into the nose. Step the foot between the hands. Root down through the feet. Now root down so much that your fingers get light and come all the way up to crescent lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out, get heavy. Breathe in and breathe out. Hands down to either side of your right foot. Step back to plank pose. Bend your elbows, slowly lower down. Roll your shoulders to the back body for cobra and find your way back to downward facing dog where you're gonna lift the left leg in the air. Now push down into everything that's in the earth. Feel the energy coming back from the earth and lift that left leg a little bit higher. Breathe. Pull the left knee into the nose, step the foot between the hands. Now I want you to find the foundation of your feet, engage your core, get light in those fingertips, and come all the way up, crescent lunge. We're gonna hold it for a couple of breaths. Hands come down, top of a plank, lower all the way to your bellies, shoulders to the back body to breathe in, and downward facing dog to breathe out. Take two breaths here, breathe in. As you exhale, relax into the earth. Breathe in. Now bend your knees, look to your hands, and jump on up to the front of your mat. Lift halfway up, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sit back to chair pose. Now pressing down through the feet, come all the way to standing. Inhale, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, hands through heart center. So Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, lift halfway up. Step back or jump back, lowering down, curling back, and downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Lift the right leg in the air, push down to lift up, pull the knee into your nose, step it forward, come all the way up, crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale, vinyasa, hands come down, step on through. We're going to go to the other side. Push down to lift up, breathe up, step it forward. Push down to lift up, inhale, exhale, hands come down, step back, vinyasa. When you get back to down dog, you're gonna take a breath in, a breath out, settle, a breath in, a breath out, bend your knees, step or float to the front of your mat. We're gonna do that one more time. Sit back into chair pose. Take a breath in and a breath out. Come all the way to standing. Inhale, maybe a little back bends. Root down to lift up. Exhale, fold down. Lift halfway up, breathe in. Plant your hands, step back or jump back through your vinyasa. Down dog. Lift the right leg. Step it forward. Inhale up. Exhale down. Vinyasa or right to down dog. 
Left leg is in the air. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So you can stay in down dog for three to five breaths or maybe you need a child's pose. We're going to settle here. So all that energy of that sun salutation too, I want you to see if you can find through the earth, through what you're connected to, your hands, your feet, maybe you're in child's pose. See if that doesn't allow you to settle down and slow down. Your heart rate, your breath, your energy. Two more breaths. All right. Step or float to the front of your mat. Come all the way onto your backs. Bring your hands behind your head. Keep your knees bent. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Lift your knees right up over your hips. Extend the right leg long and bring the right shoulder to the left knee. Now push your low back into the earth and squeeze a little bit more to the left. Come back to center. Switch sides. Left leg is extended. Left shoulder to right knee. Squeeze in tight as you push down into the earth with your low back. Come to center. Now we're going to alternate. So right, still slow. Come through center. Left. Come through center. Right. So I want you to take your time pushing your low back into the mat and extending that leg. So as you take your time and you feel the foundation of this pose, can that help you increase the depth of this curl, of this abdominal work, of this engagement of the core? Two more each side, nice and slow. So you know when we emphasize nice and slow, you know what's gonna happen. Speed it up, right, left, right, left, right, left for eight, seven, six, you're okay, five, push a little back into the mat, extend the leg, two, and one, give yourself a hug, you did it, that's all for core today, drop your knees to the left, gaze to the right, take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Pull the knees into your chest. Go to the right with the knees and gaze to the left. So let's have some fun here. We're going to use the foundation of our feet to come up. So first we're going to rock and roll. And then I want you to reach forward. Right? So rock back and reach forward. Now, the rocking motion and the foundation of the feet as well as reaching forward is what's going to get you to stand up. So give it a couple tries, reach forward, push into the feet, and come up, and you're gonna do it again. So rock back, engage your core, push into the feet, and all the way up. One more time, hands to knees, rock back, push down, reach forward, and come all the way up. Hands to heart center, close your eyes. Breathe, you okay? <laughs> Whoo! Slow your breath. Mm. Reach your arms up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale your hands down. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Jump back, step back, whatever feels right. Good. All right. Right leg in the air, three-legged dog. So find the foundation of those hands and that left foot and really push down. So keep the right leg lifted. All right, just like we did the first time around. Now start to bend your right knee and open up that right hip. So wild dog, right? We're not flipping, we're not flipping. I want you to push down into those hands and that left foot. Now, come on to your right fingertips. Now maybe lift one, two, three, four, five fingertips off the mat. So you're just on your left hand and your left foot. Don't flip, just try to stay wild. Stay wild, baby. All right, place that right hand back down. Pull the right knee into your nose. Step forward, crescent lunge. Arms reach up, inhale. You. <laughs> Good. Tap that left knee down to the mat and straighten that leg back up. So don't change the right knee at all. I just want you to tap the left knee down, get heavy with the left knee, and then straighten the leg back up. 
Do it one more time. Tap the left knee and straighten the leg back up. Reach the left arm forward and the right arm behind you. Crescent lunge. Engage the core and twist to the right. Take the right hand to your low back and reach the left arm all the way up. Now, increase the stretch by rooting down through that left foot and reaching away from it with that left hand. Good, lean back a little bit more. Hi, Frank. Take the left elbow to the left knee and bring your hands to heart center. So if you're pushing down into your feet and engaging your core, you should be able to lift that belly away from that, those feet. One more breath. Bring the hands to heart center. Shift forward and come to a standing balance. Balance is all about grounding. If you aren't engaged foot to earth, you'll fall over, right? So really find those four corners of the feet of that right foot. Hands are still at heart center. And I want you to start to circle that left knee around. Just have some fun with it. Cross the body, bring it behind you, maybe up to the side. Just have a little fun. Keep pushing down through the right foot so you have the ability to move that left leg all the way around. Now reach that left leg behind you, cross it behind you, and reach the arms up to the sky, and then stretch to the right. Once you bring your hands back to heart center, balancing on the right leg, lift the left knee. Just no craziness. Reach that left leg behind you, reach the arms up to the sky, stretch to the right. Good, come on back up. Left knee is lifted, hands come to heart center. Now step your left foot to the back of the mat and then spin to face the left side of your mat. Spin the toes and knees out and bring your hands to your thighs. And just sway a little bit side to side. You're gonna feel this in the left leg, I do. Good. Now keep your knees wide, push down into your feet, engage your abdominal muscles and bring your hands to the back of your head, okay? So the toes are light, the feet are heavy, the core is strong. Now relax your shoulders back and down. Don't change anything from your hips to your feet. Start to lean towards the right. Can you tap your right elbow to your thigh? Great. If not, no worries. Come back up. Left elbow towards the left thigh. Tap it if you got it, but don't if you don't. No big deal. You can just go here. All right, to the left. Good, to the right. To the left. One more time, right? And one more time left. Are you okay? Good, come all the way up to stand and reach the arms up. Now widen the heels so the feet are parallel with the front and the back of the mat. Bring your hands to the backs of your body and fold all the way down. So let your head relax. Your feet are wide, your legs are straight. You're folding over the legs in Prasarda Padatanasana or wide-legged forward fold. If you can grab your big toes with your peace fingers, cool. If not, no worries, let go here. So this is the point in class where I want you to settle into whatever's on the earth and then slow your breath and slow your energy. Two more breaths. All right. Bring the hands right underneath the shoulders. Skandasana or speed skater to the left. Just sink those hips down. So let it be heavy towards the earth, but can you keep your heart and head light? and then over to the right, same thing. Hips are heavy, feet are light, heavy, heart is light. Get all the way to the back of the mat, spin your toes to the back of the mat, right hand down, left arm up, take a big breath in, hands down to either side of the left foot, step back to plank pose, and all the way down to your bellies. Yes, you are facing the back of your mat. Take a big breath in, find your way back to downward facing dog, big breath out. Ooh. Settling down dot. All right, lift the left leg in the air. Hands are rooted down into the earth. Right foot is rooted down into the earth. You're gonna bend your left knee and start to open up your left hip. Now pushing down through your right foot in your right hand, right? I want you to come onto your left fingertips. Now don't flip your dog. Just try to find the balance by pushing into the right hand and the right foot, and maybe that left hand lifts off. Maybe you fall. Let's see if you can't come back. One more breath. It's hard. 
Good. All right, three-legged dog. Step the foot between the hands. You're facing the back of the mat. The left foot is forward. The arms are coming to the sky. Crescent lunge, big breath in. Now, drop the right knee down. The left leg doesn't change. Straighten the right leg. Right knee down. Straighten the right leg. One more time. Right knee down. Straighten the right leg. Arms reach up. Now, right arm forward, left arm behind you. Find that right foot. Root it down. Now, from that, lengthen the sides of the body. Take the left hand down the left leg or the right leg and reach the right arm up. Keep reaching through the right foot. Bring the right elbow to the left knee and bring your hands to heart center. Reach through the right leg and you're gonna get nice and lifted through the sides of the body. One more breath. Bring the hands to heart center. You're gonna lean out over that left leg. Using that left foot, come up to standing. Woo! Balancing on the left leg, you're facing the back of the mat. Take those circles of that thigh, maybe crossing the body, crossing behind you. Hands are in heart center. Feel the foundation of that left foot so you can open up the right leg. All right, one more time. Circle it around. Good, right knee is up. Now, cross it behind your left leg and reach your arms up to the sky and stretch to the left. Come back up, hands to heart center, balancing on the left leg, lift the right. Reach it back behind you, stretch to the left. Hands come to heart center, lift that right knee. All right, this time you're gonna step that right foot all the way to the back of the mat, come back to goddess pose. So toes and knees are out again. Good, hands come to your thighs. Just sink down through the hips. Now from the heaviness of the hips and the feet, can you lengthen and lift your heart? Now take your left hand on your left knee. Don't move anything. Just reach your right arm up and over. Keep that right thigh heavy, that right foot heavy. Reach the right arm up, bring the right hand to the right thigh. Lift the left arm up, keep that left foot heavy, that left thigh heavy. Stretch the left side of the body. Reach the left arm up, straighten the legs, widen the heels, fold down. Maybe you're a headstander and you want to take a headstand. Otherwise, you're going to try and grab the big toes of the peace fingers and pull yourself through the legs. So just folding, relaxing, grounding down. Hey, Susan, Carol, and Amanda. So grounding down through the feet so that your spine can melt down. Your jaw can relax. Your toes are light. Walk your hands underneath the shoulders. Walk the hands to the back of the mat, bending the left knee. Speed skater or skandasana, heavy through the hips, light through the heart. And then over to the right. To the left and right, one more time. Left, right. Spin your toes to the front of the mat. Right knee is bent, right arm to the sky. Take a big breath in. Hands come down, step back to plank pose, lower down through your belly, and to downward facing dog. Good, take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Let's um, do that again with not as much repetition, okay? So lift, find three-legged dog, lift the right leg in the air. Option to flip it here. So take as much time as we did lifting that right hand off the mat. See if you can't find that place where that right hand and that right foot is off the mat. Then go ahead and flip it over into the back bend. Come on back to a three-legged dog. Pull the right knee into the nose. Step the foot between the hands. Inhale all the way up to crescent lunge. Left arm is forward. Right arm behind you. Right hand down the back, left arm up to the sky. Left elbow to right knee. Now as we move a little more quickly, can you still find the foundation of each of these poses? So listen up, left elbow, right knee, hands to heart center. Now stay right over that right leg. I just want you to square yourself back up. Bring your hands right to heart center. You're right over the right leg. You're not lifted at all. You're gonna shift forward, get light on those left toes. Shift forward, lift the left leg. The right knee is bent, 
The left leg is lifted. The hands are in heart center. You're okay. Take a breath in. Come all the way up. Lift the left knee. Reach the arm. Uh, keep the hands to heart center. Reach the arms up to the sky. Cross the left leg behind you. Bring the hands to heart center. Lift the left knee. Step the left leg all the way back to warrior two. Heavy. Through the legs. Through the feet. Warrior two. Now from the heaviness of the feet and the legs, the groundedness of the feet and the legs, lengthen up through the spine and reach out through those fingertips. One more breath. Straighten the right leg, reach up towards the sky. Now spin to the back of the mat for warrior two to the back. Same thing, heaviness through those legs. Flip your left palm, reverse your warrior. Now you're gonna cartwheel the hand, so you got the right hand inside of the left foot. Low lunge twist, left arm to the sky. Plant your hand, step back to plank pose. You're facing the back of the mat, vinyasa. When you get back to down dog, take two breaths. We have the left leg. You're gonna lift it up in the air. Bend your left knee, take your time, flipping your dog. Now push down into the right hand and the right foot, come back to the three-legged dog, pull the left knee into the nose, crescent lunge to the back of the mat, left knee is bent. Open up to the left side of your mat, right hand is forward, left hand behind you. Reverse it, left hand down the leg, right arm up to the sky. Right elbow to left knee, hands to heart center. Now listen up, push through your feet, lift through your belly, come square right over that left leg. Now, shift into that left leg, lift the right. The left knee is still bent. You're still over that left leg. It's hard, breathe. Come all the way up, balancing on the left leg, right knee is bent. Reach the arms up to the sky, reach that right leg behind and across. Bring the hands to heart center, pull the right knee in. All the way back behind you. Good, pull the right knee in, hands to heart center. Now, step back, warrior two. So you're still facing the back of the mat, the left knee is bent, you're gazing out over those left fingertips. Sink down. Now push down through the feet, straighten the legs, reach the arms up towards the sky, breathe in. And then exhale, warrior two to the front of the mat. The right knee is bent. Flip your right palm, reverse your warrior. Cartwheel the hands so the left hand comes down and the right arm goes up. Plant the hands, step back to plank pose, and through vinyasa. All right, go ahead, sit back on your heels and find child's pose. So same feeling we've been having between all of these sequences, that connection, reconnection to the earth, the reconnection to the breath and the heart and your energy. Using your breath and the connection to that first chakra to slow things down, to regroup to feel the safety in this connection. All right, last breath here. Last sequence, nothing super crazy. Something kind of fun in my eyes. Find down dog. Okay. In down dog, I want you to lift the right foot off the mat. You're gonna pull the right knee into your chest. Listen up, you're gonna pull it so far forward, you're gonna cross the right ankle over the left knee in down dog. Now bend your left knee a bit and open your right knee towards the back of the mat. So you're in a down dog pigeon pose. Now walk your hands towards your left foot. Knee, left knee is gonna bend when you get there. Good. Pushing down into that left foot, start to come up. Woo. Good. 
standing pigeon back of your mat. It's okay. Now come up, lift that right knee up again, just like we did before. And this time, instead of crossing it behind you, you're gonna to come to half moon pose. So right leg behind you, left hand down, right arm up. Now pushing down into that left foot and left hand, can you lengthen the left side of the body and open up the right a little bit more? Place the right hand down, square the hips up, come back to a three-legged dog, pull the right knee into your nose, cross it to your left shoulder, fall in triangle. Now pushing down into the earth with the right foot, the right hand, and the left foot, I want you to lift up and open up towards the ceiling a little bit more. You gotta push down to do that though. You gotta feel stable and secure to take chances, to be creative, to open up, to be powerful. All of those things are the other chakras. Place the left hand down, pull the right knee in, and lower it to the mat. Send the right hand in front of the right foot, swing that right leg behind you, and lift the left arm up to the sky. Lift the left foot up, bend your left knee, and grab your left foot. Pushing the foot into the hand, and the hand in the foot, just find a little quad stretch here. A little opening to the chest. Now can you push down and open up a little bit more. Gently release the left foot, the left hand. Place the left hand down. Step back to downward facing dog. And go ahead and pedal out those feet. Okay. Lift the left foot off the mat. Pull the left knee in towards your chest so far forward that you can get that left ankle over the right knee, more to the thigh than the knee, okay? So keep the right knee slightly bent, that will help, and open up the left knee to the back of the mat. Walk the hands back towards the right foot, bend the right knee when you get back there. Now pushing down through the feet, slowly come up. I fell the last time, remember, so it's okay to fall. And come on up. Good standing pigeons. Sit back through those hips, flex the left foot, and open the left knee towards the mat. Breathe. I'm really feeling the four corners of my feet here. All right, you ready? Balancing on that right foot, you're gonna lift the left knee up. You're gonna take that left leg behind you and place the right hand on the mat. Half moon pose, Arvind Chandrasana. Left arm is up to the sky. Now I really use the pressure of the foot on the mat, the hand on the mat, to help me open up. I would not be able to do that, to feel that leaning back if I didn't have a good foundation. It's like life, man. All right, left hand down, square up the hips, walk the hands out to a three-legged dog. Pull the left knee into the chest, cross it across the body, and extend the leg for fall and triangle. Push down through the feet and the left hand to open up and lean back. Bring the right hand back down. Pull the left knee in. Lower the left knee to the mat. Swing it behind you. Left hand is down. Right arm is up. Lift the right foot and grab it. Pushing the foot into the hand. Open up. Relax that foot. Bring the hand down. Keep the right leg back. Take the left knee and bring it to the left uh, wrist. Walk that right foot back. Come to pigeon. Slow your breath. Let your head relax down. I'm swaying a little bit side to side. Getting into my left hip. We did a lot of work there. All right, now listen up. You're gonna walk your hands back. You're gonna sit onto your left hip and swing that right leg all the way around. So you're either gonna come into Sukhasana, but this is more of a, I can't think what they call it. It's either double pigeon, shin on top of shin, or shin in front of shin. 
Um, so not quite sukasa. There's another name that is escaping me right now. So double pigeon where foot and knee are one over the other. Okay, feet are flex, hips are whew. Okay, so really try and get both sit bones on the ground. Feel that left shin and foot on the mat. You can fold down if you'd like. Let the head rest onto the shin. Come on up. You're gonna keep your left foot where it is. You're gonna pull your right knee in towards your chest. Now notice I'm leaning back a bit. That's to give me a little bit more room here. I'm gonna grab the bottom of my right foot with both hands. And I'm gonna push it out in front of me, okay? So, I can stay here, right? This is one place to be. It's not a very, doesn't look very strong or stable. So I'm gonna push down through my sit bones and I'm gonna roll my shoulders back and down. And from that, I'm gonna push my foot into my hands. But I first need to find that foundation in order to open up and extend out a little bit more. Good, take the left hand outside of the right foot and reach the right arm behind you. So push into that right foot, look back over the right shoulder. Sit through that sit bone and sit up a little taller. All right, bend the right knee, cross it in front of you. You're gonna find pigeon on the right. So you're gonna have to maneuver a little bit so you can get that left hip down and then find your way into pigeon pose. Flexing my right foot to protect my right knee. Three more breaths here, just melting down into the earth. Walking the hands back, shifting over onto that right hip, swinging that left leg around. So you're either gonna bring left shin in front of right shin or left shin on top of right shin. I always bring my right, my bottom shin forward a little bit and ankle over knee and ankle underneath. And then I adjust to get a little bit more foundation onto the earth. Good, sitting up tall. <sighs> You can fold forward if you like. All right, come on back up. You're gonna grab the left shin and the left foot. Um, that right leg can come a little more forward if that feels better. You're going to extend the leg out in front of you. Remember, you gotta find the foundation to grow up out of it and then push into that left foot, into those hands with your left foot. But you have to have that rootedness into the earth. Take that right hand outside of the left foot and extend that left arm behind you. Keep pushing the left foot forward. Keep growing out of your seat and gaze back. Come on back to center. Bring the legs out to the sides. You're gonna take the left hand inside the left leg and just reach your right arm up and over. Pushing down through your right leg, right? What we've been talking about all class, feel that heaviness, and then from that extend a little bit more through the right side of the body. All right, come on up with the right leg. Just switch legs. Now pushing down through the left leg, lengthen through the left side of the body, over your ear with that left hand. You're gonna reach both arms up. 
and you're gonna bring them down inside of your legs and walk them forward. Keep rooting through those legs and lengthening through the spine, coming forward. Maybe that third eye rests on the mat. The third eye can also rest on the double fists or a block. Here, stay here. All right, push down through the legs, come all the way up, grab the backs of the knees and pull them in together. Good. Keep your hands on the backs of the thighs and slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead and roll around onto your sacrum both directions. Good, pulling the knees into the chest. Get, grab the backs of your, bottoms of your feet for a happy baby. So knees and thighs are wide. Hands on the bottoms of the feet to pull them down toward, the thighs down towards the earth. Slow your breath. Now pull your right knee in towards your chest and take your left leg behind your right leg. So you're crossing right inner thigh over left inner thigh, okay? So right leg on top of left leg, knees are bent. You're either gonna grab your shins and pull them down towards your hips or you're gonna grab the outsides of the feet. Keep the feet flexed and pull your heels towards your butt. Try to relax those hips. One more breath. All right, release those feet. Grab the bottoms of the feet again for happy baby. As you come to the left, I want you to extend the left leg long. So like roll over to the left hip and then extend the left leg long. And then roll over to the right hip and extend your right leg long. If you can do both, cool. All right, pull the knees into the chest. Now I don't have my daughter to tell me whether this is the right side or not, but pull the right knee in towards your chest, cross the left leg behind the right leg. Did we do this side already? If we have, just switch sides. So you're gonna grab the shins and pull the heels towards the butt or grab the opposite feet and pull the heels towards the butt. Flex the feet. It's a little precarious. I think we did do the other side. So left leg across the right leg, sorry. I felt like that was very stretched. So with your feet flexed, your knees are protected. Good, take another breath. All right, release those feet. Now listen, we're gonna place our feet on the mat, but just for a second, I want you to lift your hips up an inch, shift them to the right an inch, lower them down. Now drop your knees to the left. So your hips went to the right an inch and your knees went to the left. What that does is it just allows the spine to be straight. Open up your right arm and gaze to the right. Pull the knees into the chest, place those feet down, lift them up back to center, shift them to the left an inch, lower them down, drop the knees to the right. So this time the hips went to the left and the knees went to the right. You're gazing over the left shoulder. Slow your breath. Let each exhale melt you back down into the earth. All right, 
legs. Pull the knees back into your chest. Find those circles around your sacrum again. And then extend one leg at a time down onto the mat. Fast forward to the playlist to letting go. The final song on the playlist for Shavasana. So let your palms be open next to your hips. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Do that again, take a deep breath in. This time I want you to squeeze everything super tight, your face, your shoulders, your butt, your abs, your feet, your fists. Squeeze everything really tight as you breathe in. And then as you exhale, I want you to let it go. Hands, feet, legs, face, butt. We're gonna do that one more time because it's my favorite way of letting go. So your next inhale, breathe in. Squeeze everything nice and tight, even your ears, your face, your tongue, your shoulders, your core, your quads, your hamstrings, your calves, your feet. And release, let it go. Each exhale, releases a little bit more. Melt you a little bit more. Bring awareness to everything that's on the earth. Your heels, your calves, your hamstrings, your buttocks the flesh on your back, your shoulder blades, the backs of your arms, your elbows, the backs of your hands, the back of your head. As you exhale, imagine the, there's a waterfall flowing down from the top of your head, down the back of your body, all the way to the bottoms of your feet. And as you inhale, feel the light of the sun rising up from your feet through the front of the body all the way to the top of the head. And as you exhale, let that waterfall melt down the back of your body. Breathing in, feeling that warmth. Breathing out, feel the coolness. You have a few more breaths like that. With your next inhale, reach your arms all the way to the back of your mat. Your fingertips reach back. Your toes reach in the opposite direction. You're stretching. And then on your exhale, bend your knees and curl to the right sides of your bodies. Using your hands on the mat, go ahead and push yourself to seated. Bring your hands to heart center, bow your heads. Thank the earth for allowing you to reconnect for the safety and security that it brings. I thank you for rolling out your mat and joining me, and I offer you all namaste. Have a great night, you guys. Namaste.